Hi guys, it's another windy evening, well, not as windy as it was yesterday, anyway, um, I've had a couple of uh, productive days at least, I uh, sorted this one out yesterday, got the LED lights on it, I left the mud guards on, um, I placed the bottom bracket there and I'll do this. Oh no, I did this one Monday. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> um, yeah, done. Replaced the bottom bracket bearings. The bearings still had some life in, but I could see where. I don't know if I've actually still got got them laying around. If I threw them in the bin, um, plus the grease because this is technically a one of your sort of low-end budget bikes bikes, rather not bikes, or whatever it was I said. And then again, as every time I turn the camera on, someone messages me. <laughs> I've been sitting there for ages, no one messages me. I get up, turn the camera on, and pop, up comes Yahoo. Anyway, yeah, this is just your budget bike, you know, this is, these are nasty grip shifts. These are the cheap ones that I really, really hate. That's a good indication that it's a budget bike. This is a replacement, this stem. Um, it's got a black cap in because I couldn't find a chrome one. And then, yesterday, I went and found a chrome one. So I will swap that at some point. Yeah, the old one was rusty. So instead of trying to clean it up, I just swapped it straight over. It was easy enough to do. Um, that grip shift is actually broken. There's a, can't see it, but there is a crack right above my finger, right where the fixing screw is. But, um, I never really use the front gears anyway. I just leave it in third gear at the front and just use the rear gears. I always have done. Um, well, actually, I didn't when I was a kid because my legs didn't have that much strength, so I used to leave it in second. But, uh, then my legs just start to find it far too easy to pedal, so... I moved up a gear. <laughs> and that's what I've done ever since. Um, but I tell you what, for your sort of low-end budget bike, this thing rides like a dream. It's lovely. Um, and these tyres, I think I'm pretty certain they're brand new. They are. They are brand new tyres. You can see all these little ears. There's another one. Another one down both sides. None of them have fallen off. Front and back tyres, so... The bike might be used, but those bloody tyres aren't. So, for £5 from the recycle centre, I think I've got a decent little bike here. It's got quite a short handlebar. Um, either that or it's just my imagination. <laughs> but they certainly feel short. Um, your front and rear LED lights are stuck on it. Put the Duracell on, but I might move that one to the fork. Um, I put this rear one on. There's a couple of reasons why I put this rear one on. <coughs> one, because I actually like the design. Two, when it works, it's actually quite bright. And three, I've got the added extra large reflector on the front of it here. It's a proper reflector. So I've got that extra bit for visibility as well. Um, but yeah, I've got a fork bracket that my Duracell one would fit on, which I think might actually be a better option. Just because I think it's going to look tidier. Um, I don't know, I may actually go and get it in a little while. And, will you stop messaging me? <laughs> may get it in a little while, mount it on the fork, and then I'll just take it off there, put it on there, and see which one I prefer. There's not actually a lot of room up here, as you can see. This is why I think these bars are quite short, because there really isn't <laughs> much room. Actually, there could be if I actually shorten the um, handlebar grips, because these bits are quite long. But, uh, yeah. Oh, the other thing I did, I changed these cable adjusters, because they were steel and rusty and shut up noisy. 
<laughs> yeah, so... The giant is done, by the way. That's why it's not up here. It's actually downstairs, locked away in the shed. Um, I completed that today, actually. Um, I found a seat post for it yesterday. Well, actually, I didn't. I used one of my own, but I used... Where is it? Oops. I've just thrown it on the floor. Bear with me. Yeah, yeah I used um, one of these. I put this in the frame first. I then used the large or a seat post at my collection that fitted snugly in that, and then just clamped it down. And that's uh, held it in place. I think, if I remember correctly, these are actually meant to go inside mud guards that go around your seat post. I think. I'm not sure, actually, now I've said that. Because you won't actually... It's not flexible enough to open up and put around a seat post. There's another one. This one is. That's a slightly thinner one. Um, it was actually Biggles that gave me that idea. Because um, he said you can get, like, metal sleeves that you can put in the top of the frame and then the seat post. I've got a metal one somewhere, but it's too small. Far too small. I don't know, is it in in here? It might be in here. Move the cat's tail. <laughs> um, yeah, the other thing I did, so, uh, oh, the other thing I did today was um, swap the gear wheels in the dryer, and I'll just explain how I did it. Because I didn't take the dryer off the bike, and I didn't disconnect the chain either. What I did, I started with this top one first, Undone the bolt, pulled the bolt out, of course the chain slipped through, pulled the gear out, or the pulley wheel out I should say, inserted the new one, lined it up with the hole, put the bolt straight back through, did it up, and then basically did the same with the um, lower one, which I just noticed is full of crud. So it's got a bit dirty because I've used it on um, wet roads, in fact my clawed butt is rather dirty. <laughs> it's got a condition of the plastic. It's actually like new. A bit of rust on the screws. But it's like new. Still got the sticker on it though. So I don't think it's actually been used that much. I've got a feeling it's just stood around more than anything. And uh, of course the grease in the bottom bracket had uh, it literally gone like glue, which is why I just decided to replace the lot anyway. I had some decent um, used ones that I'd salvaged from bikes I'd scrap that had a decent um, bottom bracket. Now I decide to keep them. If there's no play in the bottom bracket on a bike that I'm scrapping, then I'll keep the bearings. But if there's play, then I usually don't. That's typical. Wrong bracket. Uh, oh, pardon me. Right. Before I <laughs> the cat has just legged it because you know he's done wrong. Bless him. He jumped up here and he did. He just caught this. That's all, and that just popped it off. But there we go. <coughs> <laughs> he's hiding under the table. Well, I'm just going to check to see what my friend has sent me. Links, probably. Yeah, Dropbox works. I'll answer your question. <laughs> Uh, right. Where did I put my pointy stick? I've lost it. Oh. I've lost my pointy stick. 
I had it in my hand. I think let's, let's use another one. I'll do. Right, as you know, with this one, I've been trying to modify this to accept that style of brayer. You know, the one that goes on the um, more common, cheaper version of bikes. Um, and what I did, I put the Australia on with the um, quick release skewer holding it in place, drilled the hole, eventually found a suitable screw, and um, I did have to change this from a black one, which is over here, to that silver one, because this silver one's a little bit smaller. This one's quite wide, and the problem I was having was that this one, when it went on there, this edge was actually hitting the screw, and then it wasn't, and thus this wasn't sitting flat on the drailleur, and thus wasn't gripping the wheel um, tightly. So I'd, actually, the first idea I had was just to cut a notch in this, so it went over the screw comfortably and then just cranked it up the other side with the handle. Um, but then when I was looking in my box of wheel axles, I found some um, front wheel skewers, and uh, this one is actually slightly small, and it's gone on there perfectly, so that saved me the hassle of um, chopping one up. Well, it wouldn't have been much hassle. I mean, there's only plastic on the outside there, but I've only been trimming the plastic. But, uh, yeah, so... I've got a drag here. <laughs> We're getting somewhere slowly with this one. The main obstacle is done. I've got some crank arms, because the other side there is black. Someone's replaced it. I think I might stick a couple of better ones of these bolts in. Um, I've got my tool up here, so I can soon swap it. It's not an exact match, but... Two silver is better than one silver and one black, and I'll probably change the pedals while I'm at it. Uh, find a seat post. May need to find an insert for that as well, because the seat posts I've got are a smidge too small. I need one just a smidge bigger. Uh, you know, these branded bikes more expensive ones are awesome bikes but they can be a pain in the ass to get bits for <laughs> especially that seat posts and drailers or drailer dropouts I should say um, I've got a left shifter on there told you I had a spare pair so it didn't matter that I broke one left trigger shifter oops well it was already broke and I just made it worse because I was basically just playing around with it <laughs> um Oh yeah, found one of these up to go on the giant. Handy to have, because it does actually help to prevent your um, trouser leg getting caught in the chain and whatnot. Doesn't really prevent grease getting on them, but it's one thing that used to drive my mum nuts. Because I'd have grease lines. I actually, you can see it on there. Look. Actually, probably not this light, but I have got grease lines on there. <laughs> Really did used to um, just reply to someone so they don't think I'm ignoring them. minutes discussing nothing but bikes. Yeah, the bedroom looks like a tip again. There's nothing new there. As fast as I clean it up, it becomes a tip. I think I put it there. I had a bit of a sort out with my bike lights as well. I've put the rear dynamo lights in here. As you can see, that's the one I'm after. Oops, sorry. Just smack the camera with it. Right on the top. That's good. 
Okay, I needed a bit of room in my tub of bike lights, so I sort this tub out. So in here, there's nothing but dynamo light brackets, dynamo brackets, rear dynamo lights, and even some bottle dynamos in the bottom. More bottle dynamos than I actually thought I had. I didn't think I had that many. I've got loads. I don't know where they all come from. At one point, I was lucky to have, like, a couple. But now I seem to have, um, a dozen. <laughs> I don't know where they all came from. <laughs> right. Dropbox is being a pain in the friggin' ass again. Doing this yesterday, it was coming up as a blank page. Right, should we have a go at this? This, I know it's not a rear one, but it could be a rear one, but that would have to go on the left side. And uh, that's not ideal in this country. I'm actually pretty certain this is for a dynamo light because it's got the um, screw there to scratch into the paintwork. So, what I'm going to do, take the light off the handlebar. Now, that red screwdriver I couldn't find earlier that I was using as a pointy stick, I need. Here we go. I found it. <laughs> actually, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Oh, actually, no it's not. I'll just take the bolts off and... Oh, no, that's not a good idea, is it? No. Actually, I'd better leave the bolts that way round. Otherwise, they might go into the wheel spokes. Right, uh... I wonder... No. As long as the cat doesn't jump up on that table, you should be fine. So long as the cat don't jump up there. Let's get this nut off. Can you have a washer? Yeah, we've got a lot of washer. Push the bolt through. Look. Oh, this bolt's going to be long enough. Oh yes, better put the lock washer on because we don't want the nut coming loose, do we? Ah, I'm going to need to put this bracket a bit lower. It's uh, close to the break. Can that go on there? Oh, that's all right. I'll go on there. There's enough. It's not on that super tight, but should be. Hmm. I've just done it finger tight because I don't know if I'm going to like it yet. To be honest, I think it looks tidier down there than it does on that one. I'm going to leave that bracket on there though. It might come useful for putting on another one. And I could have a game of uh, see how many lights I can bolt to the bike. I used to do that in my younger years as well. <laughs> I think on one of my bikes that did get stolen. Um, what did I have? I think I managed to have four on the rear and four on the front. <laughs> um, I know at the rear I had one either side of the forks and I think two sort of below the seat. This is going back a few years, not the one I had stolen in February, although I had three on the one that got stolen earlier this year, because I had one at either side of the wheel, one under the seat post, and I think three lights up front, 
Yeah, it's a two on a handlebar. One sort of mounted under there, which was my blue flashing LED, which... To be honest, that was the only light I was pissed off about losing. <laughs> but I've got those silicon ones, which, they're not as... Well, they're bright. But... They wear easily. Um, put them back up here on the Lego thing. There we go. Crank up the mats. The lot like fall off. They're all going into the wheel. I've never had that happen to me. Not yet. Touch wood. <laughs> Never had a light on mounted on the fork going for a wheel. But uh, when I put lights on, I do tend to make sure they're on there good and tight. Some people don't. Bounces up and down, but it doesn't move round. Um, Start to move the whole bolt now. She's got one bit of rubber though for some reason, but that doesn't matter. where I'm going to be going with it because it's sort of pointing upwards but unless I get something on here and bend it down but I'm not likely to use this one um, out on the country roads anyway so I just need it so I can, you know, the cars can see me but uh, in case you haven't noticed I do like having two pairs of lights on my bikes or at least, oops, let's get a button. Did I do anything? No. At least two pairs of lights on my bikes. Uh, if the weather's bad, then I can put the extra pair on for the extra visibility. And or if, say, the batteries went flat in the LED, I can just come, you know, stop and reach down, and I've got that one. I do like that Duracell light, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure the brand of that one. I've got another one of those in the box. If you wonder why I've got the box of lights out, I had all the light brackets out of the cupboard as well, and I found all these front light brackets in here. Um, so I was just basically finding some to fit the front lights I've got in here. So I've got one on that one. That one hasn't got a bit on it. That, I don't know, I've got a bracket, I think I've got a bracket for most of them. I don't have another one for that one. That one, that one, and that one. So it's one, two, three, five. Um, that's pretty much what I want, wanted to do, really. I weren't too fussed about anything else. Uh, I think I put the light brackets back in the cupboard. I think. Yeah, they're not out here, so they must be. Right. I think the next thing to stick on this Saracen is going to be the chain. And then I've got to put on... We'll just swap that pedal arm over. Uh, get the brake set, or the brake, V-brake set up properly seat in it. Try and find the other handlebar grip. It's somewhere up here. I kept it to one side because I wanted it for that. I kept it to one side along with the front reflector and I can't find either now. I'm sure I left them up here but they're not there now. I don't know, maybe I accidentally took them through the bedroom and they're buried in the bedroom somewhere. I don't know. 
I actually think that does look a lot tidier down there, to be honest. I don't know, with these sort of older lights, the bulky ones, I just don't think they look right on the handlebars, to be honest. Oh yeah, I wonder if it's going to do it. Put a video up with me testing all these torches and things, and you'll notice um, I didn't think the red dome flash. Well, I took this down to the shed, because the battery for the lights in the shed have uh, died. Because dipstick here left the lights on. <laughs> um, and I was just walking to the shed with that on, just for the hell of it. And uh, it started flashing, so that should start flashing. That's going to call me a liar now, not flashing. Oh, there we go. See, when I first tested this, you saw in that video, that did not flash. And I had it on for a while. It doesn't have any sort of uh, pattern. It's just a random flash on and off. I'd actually love to know how those flash bulbs work. That's one thing I don't know. That was a handy torch. I wish I'd kept my EverReady one, though. Because I had an EverReady as well. And a Pithco. I should have kept that as well, but... Eh. This was free, so... It's got a screw missing from down there, but I'm sure I can find a little self-tapper to stick in there. It's holding the base on, anyway. Oddly enough, my EverReady had a screw missing from down there as well. <laughs> that must be a common thing for them, lose one screw. Probably drop it or something when they change the battery. Yeah, I bought a brand spanking new battery for that. It's actually got pretty damn good beam on that. <laughs> the old motoring lantern. They seem to be quite popular back in the sort of 60s and 70s, but not so much these days, it seems. Ah, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Interesting photo regarding the fire service. This Dodge here, can't remember what type of Dodge it is, it's a 1977 model, um, and it was the first diesel engined truck um, our fire station ever had. I'm assuming by that we had petrol before that. Um, so I think we got that from new. I know that was registered in Norwich, because I've already checked the um, number plate. But, in the early 1990s, actually about 20 years ago, someone was telling me. In here, actually, hang on. I'm sure it was somewhere in here. It is. No, it isn't on this one, it's on the post. I, um... Because I shared this to all the fire service groups I'm on. Um, <laughs> it's actually got rolled while um, responding to a car fire call, so I was told, in Bacton. That rolled on the way, so I'm assuming that's why we got the um, Mercedes. Because I know a lot of the other Mercedes engines in the area were actually older than ours. It's a shame, really, that it got rolled and written off, because uh, I'd have liked to have tracked that down and uh, restored it if I could, but obviously if it got rolled, it got written off, and it's probably long gone by now. Oh my fart stink! Yeah, that would have been one of the vehicles that would have been in service when my uncle was still a farmer. 
I'm not sure if he retired before it got written off or after. But I know he retired because he failed the uh, medical. I can't remember what Mum said he failed it on now. But uh, yeah, he was a fireman. I don't know when he joined either. I'm going to have to ask Mum. I don't think my uncle's got Facebook, so I can't actually uh, ask him directly. Yeah. I think out of all the emergency services, the fire service is probably my favourite. Share if you think ISA should be wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah, but that's probably easier said than done, to be honest. Um, I'm just thinking, because this camera's about to stop and restart, but... After half an hour on the camera, I need to go and use the bathroom anyway. So I need to uh, go drop one. Go bomb China, as a friend of mine usually says when he needs a dump. That's probably not the best turn of phrase to use these days, is it? Because <laughs> that could be misinterpreted, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video because there's a few things I want to talk about when I come back, so... Apologies, but this might be a bit of a long one. Actually, in fact, what I'll do, I'll end this video and I'll start another one, so... Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I appreciate the few watchers I've got. Um, or a few subscribers I've got. Um, as always, if you liked the video, then please hit the like button, and if you want to see more random videos, then hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm always looking for different ideas of things I could do, maybe something a bit comical, I don't know. I don't know if anyone would actually find my sense of humour funny. <laughs> um, anyway, again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.